Good evening, everyone. Am I audible? Good evening, children. Am I audible? Yes, sir. LTIT, raise your hands. LTIT, children, raise your hands. Only five. Hey, when you go for LTIT, hands up in a small law, only five being there. Ray, LTA children wants call to your friends. Rahul, Raghavendran, Dinesh, Pandita wants to call your friends. Madhumita also, who are absent, call. Okay, children. So today, so today our lecture is very important, children. Very tough chapter. So listen carefully. Tough but easy if you follow. If you just listen. Uh, what I say. Very easy. Okay, so okay, children. So, and uh, one thing you I want to introduce this waves chapter. If you understand directly, indirectly, many topics, many chapters depending on this wave optics also directly depends on this. Electromagnetic waves also and uh, alternating currents also. One, two, three, four. I mean, for need children, minimum uh, minimum four to eight questions children. I mean, 16 marks to 32 marks for uh, need children. And uh, IIT children, minimum four questions to eight questions. So, and a uh, lot of attention required. The reason is, it is an abstract concept, completely abstract concept, uh, fully non-material, understood? So, but uh, from the beginning onwards, if you focus, it is very, very easy. Any doubts are there, stop me immediately. Okay, children, so let us start without any delay. First of all, we'll start with the a statement of wave children. Someone tell me what is the concept of wave? Response children. Wave is nothing but it is a disturbance created in the medium. It is the disturbance. The disturbance created in the medium. Is nothing but wave. So that medium can be anything. Medium also not required. 
when you talk about the electromagnetic waves so the wave i mean medium is not compulsory so without the medium also the waves can propagate such waves are called non mechanical waves are electromagnetic waves also you can call so before going very deeply some basic idea required children uh, first of all what is the concept of the wave one must understand so first of all there are majorly uh, two types of waves one is mechanical just now i have introduced mechanical waves and non mechanical waves could you give some example for the mechanical mechanical meaning for the propagation of the waves compulsory medium required so we can write one statement the waves which required medium compulsory required such waves are called mechanical waves can anyone give some example children for some mechanical waves sound waves traveling in the air sound waves traveling in the water or any liquid sound wave traveling in any gas sound waves traveling in the any medium not only that any waves traveling in the string rod etc we cannot communicate uh, each other in the interstellar space because of the there is no medium at all and the second type of waves are non mechanical waves so these are the types of waves here no medium required children no medium is required such type of waves are nothing but non mechanical waves example all type of electromagnetic waves there are totally seven types of electromagnetic waves are there light waves infrared waves gamma ultraviolet rays x rays visible light infrared microwaves and radio waves etc and also few more waves also there so the if you see this what is a wave is nothing but we can imagine one medium particle children the symbol of the wave generally any type of wave in this chapter i am going to show with this symbol like this one crest and one trough so this convex shape is called crest this is called crest and uh, this is called trough or trough also you can call one set of one crest and trough is called wavelength lambda lambda is nothing but length of one full wave length of one full wave you know any in any medium the speed of the wave is always constant children so you can write one statement the speed of wave is always remains constant only and uh, speed of the wave we can define it as the total distance traveled divided by time taken you can also write the total distance traveled by one complete oscillation is nothing but one wavelength and the time taken to complete one full wave is nothing but time period this is the relation between speed of wave and wavelength so there is one question how wave produces how wave produces this is a big question if you understand this any point you can understand here any wave is produced because of the vibration of the particles or vibrations or oscillations of the electron etc for example you might be noticed children in the playing of musical instruments like uh, stringed instruments like violin veena guitar etc what that uh, musician will do he will pluck a string at one particular point plucking in a sense so one particle he will select 
let's say the particle is p continuously he will set oscillations at that particle so that uh, throughout that music delivery that particle continuously is oscillating between that upper extreme position and lower extreme position if the particle completed one oscillation means one time going up one time going down and again it is coming back to the same position then it is called one full oscillation if one particle complete one oscillation that means it produces one full wave meaning children i told you oscillations directly correlated with the wave I mean the oscillations of the particle I mean vibration of the particle sir directly responsible for the uh, production of wave so i can write one statement one oscillation equal to exactly equal to one complete wave production and one oscillation equal to one complete uniform circular motion uniform circular motion why because why i am comparing why i am correlating all these motions to understand the wave motion wave properties should understand the oscillatory motion of the particle to understand the oscillatory motion of the particle you have to interconnect with the any particle revolving in the circular path with the constant speed children understood i mean one particle completing one full oscillation means it will produce one full wave within that time one particle completes one circular path is my point clear children everyone and the if you see the wave the total length of this one full wave is called lambda children what is the distance traveled by the one full wave during one time period this is also okay. total total distance traveled in one complete oscillation lambda is also called distance traveled distance traveled by a particle by a particle during one full oscillation during one full oscillation or or during one complete circular motion during one complete circular motion so this is the uh, some details children and also few more terms also i have to introduce throughout this chapter we will uh, talk many things like uh, speed of the wave uh, path of the wave path difference phase of the wave phase difference of the two waves initial phase of one wave or initial epoch of one wave kinetic energy of wave potential energy of wave pressure of wave intensity of wave like that many uh, parameters you are going to study name alone we use uh, wave but uh, literally we will talk about the vibratory motion i mean oscillatory motion of a particle i am again repeating children so for example in mysore park how mysore won't be there in the discussion of the wave we never consider about the wave only will consider about the particle oscillatory motion are understanding so wave motion is nothing but we directly correlated with what children tell me directly correlated with the oscillatory motion of the particle oscillatory motion of particle i mean uh, 
I told you many times, children. Just imagine one particle. This is the mean position of the particle. One person is continuously plucking that string particle. So it will go to upper extreme position. And uh, it will do the oscillation between the upper extreme position and lower extreme position. So like that when it is vibrating, when it goes to extreme position, it will lose the energy children. That loss of energy only converting into this vibration energy or wave energy or wave. Is my point clear children? Yes or no? So this maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position only called amplitude. Next one is time period of the wave. Tell me children, what is the meaning of time period of the wave? Time taken to produce one wave. Time taken to produce one wave. To produce one wave is called is called time period or time taken to produce one complete oscillation also called time period. Everything remains same. And what is the frequency of a wave? Frequency of a wave. What is the meaning of frequency children that is denoted with the symbol F? Number of waves produced. Number of waves produced in one second. Number of waves produced in one second is called frequency children. Next one, angular frequency. Frequency also can be written as reciprocal of the time period. How we can write angular frequency? The frequency that is represented in radians is called angular frequency. Frequency is measured in cycles per second or hertz. But the angular frequency is measured in radians. Copy everything, children. Little bit cost you copy. Okay, children, shall I move the slide? Shall yes, I sir. move the slide? Now the, anyway, PDF also I will share, children, after completion of the class. No need to worry. So now, uh, let me introduce. Our next topic, that is equation of wave. Equation of wave. If you want to study about the wave properties, one should understand the one should understand the equation of wave motion, children. So means uh, if you if you got one wave equation. So the our discussion is very easy. 
means uh, i told you wave is nothing but particle children according to de broglie or whatever theory is there i told you many times wave motion we are talking but uh, that is one particle motion only uh, for example listen children this is one frame of reference means uh, this is our x axis this is the origin and this is the y axis this is the negative x axis children one wave is going uh, to avoid the confusion one complete wave i am not taking one uh, crest i am taking so this is actually one full transverse wave transverse wave means the wave motion the wave is moving right side but the particles are vibrating perpendicular to wave motion transverse means perpendicular particle motion and wave motion so are perpendicular to each other so such a wave is called transverse wave i am not taking here a complete transverse wave only crest only positive cycle of the wave only i am taking children and that too i am uh, talking one particle only so for your visibility i will draw some enlarged diagram so you can see here one one crest is going in the right side direction generally our waves will go in the right direction only children there is one a particle p is there there is one that particle the particle is at a distance friend just a second one student have to talk to नंबर uh, tell me what okay. one second Let's tell your admission number. Twenty one, na. Twenty one zero thirty eight. Four four. Or on the Google Maps today. Which app you are using, ra? Right? Inland only, ah? Yeah? Inland. So your test is given. Around the world. This is showing your name is there. You not started. Once again, once again, stay online. Tell your admission number once again. 
Tell your admission number Once again, tell your admission number once again. Two one. Two one. Two one zero eight. Zero thirty eight. Four four. Password. Test at the rate one two three. No, you changed the password. Two one zero three eight. You change. You changed your password. No, I'm unable to log in. You changed the password. I I'm also trying to log in. One second, one second. There. Stay on the screen. Right, test is active only. Test is active. Active only. Once refresh. Uh. Which system you are using? Laptop. Uh? Exactly, you installed Inlan, Inlan app only. Yeah? Website only. Inlan and I'm also opening in website. See in my, I will, I will send the screenshot. See, this is open now. I am just check if it is open, it is active, just active. You refresh it or else re-login. Close everything and uh, once re-login, you still uh, re-login. Password same only, test at the red one. Two. All are small only. Okay. Okay, children, uh, kindly respond. Are you there? Say hello, everyone. Yes, sir. Say hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, audible children, speak out once. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, I okay. didn't plug in here. Okay, children, so we'll continue the discussion. This, uh, this five minutes is very important, children, so listen carefully. And, uh, you just uh, focus only one particle. Particle mean position is here. Initially, initially means when time equal to zero, uh, the particle is at a distance x meter, children. I mean, along x axis, it is at x meter. And uh, initially, it is at y meter. 
it is at the y meter but after t seconds passing where it will go after t seconds it is passing my straight question where it will go i am asking kindly respond after t seconds where it will go children it will go like this somewhere it will go like this how many meters it will travel so it goes like this so tell me children how many meters that is traveled i am asking the crest if you see earlier it is at x equal to 0 now the crest traveled how many meters children v into t only na please say yes or no correct or not now the same po same particle if you see I mean the same particle in the sense. So the who is having the same situation after t seconds. So this particle, another particle, a p prime have the uh, same situation. I mean it is uh, at the same location initially at y. Now also it is at uh, y, and uh, that right now it is a distance x meter. right now this particle p and this particle p prime have the same features i mean what i mean to say the this vertical displacement of the particle only depends on the the distance between these two parameter so i can write one statement vertical displacement of the particle i told now name alone wave motion but we'll talk about only vertical displacement of particle children it is a uh, depending on what factor only function of x minus v into t I mean depending on x it depending on the uh, time taken and depending on the v velocity of the wave so v is nothing but velocity of the wave i mean i can conclude one statement i can generalize one statement for any wave for any wave moving in positive x direction moving in positive x direction so the vertical displacement always function of a x minus v into t children i mean vice versa also true vice versa means for any wave uh, right now we are talking only transverse wave i am not talking about uh, other wave so for any wave moving in moving in negative x direction so i can write y is equal to function of x plus vt so this both the tricks everyone have to remember so this is a very key concept uh, in digestion of all wave properties i mean as i told you as i told you the wave motion you can compare with the oscillatory motion you can also write so the vertical displacement of the particle equal to a into sin omega t minus kx plus pi you can write so why because this equation is representing oscillatory or simple harmonic motion equation children so that's what directly uh, i'm writing the equation of motion of a particle okay so children i am ending the meeting you just join with the same link by touching same link okay